Kanye West, Tyler Crater, Playboy Cardi, ASAP Rocky, Mac Miller. This is a very short list of the numerous rappers that have been photographed by one of the most prolific celebrity photographers and one of the most important photographers in the rap scene. From literally shooting the cover of Playboy Cardi's self-titled album with a plastic camera that can fit in your pocket, today we are talking about your rapper's favorite photographer, Gunner Stahl. Gunnar Stahl is a 29 year old photographer from Atlanta that has detailed in an interview with Complex Magazine that he actually failed a photography class when he was in high school. He actually bought his first camera when he was 18 from a friend and one of the very first celebrities he ever took a picture of was Wiz Khalifa. Now Gunnar Stahl is mostly known for his retro looking candid pictures of rappers and he gets that look from shooting on film cameras. Now to break down quickly, the main difference between shooting a film camera and shooting a digital camera is instead of a digital sensor that captures light, you have a strip of film that is sensitive to light. Now once you take your picture from your film camera, you just can't upload it to IG. You must get it developed first. Indeed the film will be put in a batch of chemicals that will after make an image appear on the film roll and then will be scanned using a film scanning machine. So to help you visualize this, even though it's not really the same thing, think about a Polaroid, right? When you take a picture, the picture doesn't appear immediately. It takes some time for the chemicals to react with the light and everything for your image to appear. Now it's not exactly the same thing. Of course, it's a way longer process and you actually have to put it in a bunch of chemicals for an image to come out. It doesn't do it on itself, on its own, but you can still think of it as chemicals reacting to create this image. Now you're wondering why would photographers like Gunnar Stahl go through all of this hassle to get pictures when digital is so much easier and faster. The look. The film look is just incredible. This is something that just cannot be imitated on digital using Photoshop or filters. Film has certain characteristics due to this chemical nature that just can't be copied from digital photography. In fact, as detailed in the interview with Complex Magazine, Gunnar Stahl explains that he started shooting film due to his camera breaking. So he had a digital camera and it just broke on him. He wanted to shoot Kanye's Yeezus tour, The Goat, but did not have a camera on him. His friend lent him his film camera and the pictures turned out horrible. But he was broke at the time, so he had no choice to keep shooting with the camera. Nowadays, Gunnar Stahl's go-to cameras are the Contax T2, the Fujifilm GA645i, and the Contax G2. But the camera he is the most famous for, and the camera that made me want to get into film photography, and I actually bought it, which was my very first film camera, is the Yashica T4. In fact, this is the camera he used for Playboy Cardi's art cover for his self-titled mixtape, Playboy Cardi. Now, I've actually done a full breakdown of the Yushika T4 on my YouTube channel. It's actually my most viewed video, so definitely check it out. It'll be linked up somewhere in the video and down in the description. As for the filming shoots, it's Fuji all the way. That could be Fuji 1600, Fuji 400, Fuji Pro 400H. Unfortunately, both Fuji 1600 and Fuji Pro 400H are discontinued, but these are incredible, incredible, incredible film stock. Now, many people are gonna say that there's nothing really special about Gunner Styles photography and that his access to all these celebrities are due to just connections. But I ask you this, a photographer isn't only defined by the pictures that she or he takes. There's a person behind that camera and if it was so easy, anybody could be at his position. I believe that Gunnar Stahl is at the level he is because of his incredible photography, but also because of the person he is. Rappers can connect with him and that's why his fork is fire. For me, that's why he's one of my favorite photographers of all time. He's the reason why I started film photography, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And let me know in the comments if there's any photographers that inspire you. I would really like to know. And also, like, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on all socials. Links are all down in the description. And as usual, guys, keep it nostalgic.